that the Antichrist has come. The Antichrist has come out. There is no calamity on the face of this earth from the time of Adam till Qiyamah come greater than the calamity of the Najjar. When the Dajjal comes out, do you know that there's going to be thousands of ulama of this ummah that will actually follow him? Two categories are mentioned. Ulama, scholars of this religion, of this religion Islam, are going to follow him. And women of this religion, in Sahih Ahadith, women in their numbers will follow him. And that there will be a large section of the, of the followers of Musa alayhi salam, they will follow him. Look, there's two things about Dajjal. There's a Dajjalic system and then there's the actual Dajjal. So if anyone tells you the whole thing is just a system, it's not. It's a system, yes, but it's also the actual Dajjal. Before Dajjal comes, there's an entire system that, that supports the, 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 whatever Dajjal is going to have. But it looks like the technological world we're going through, that all those devices are going to be the jobs. There's going to be some serious advancement in science. So out of the 10 major signs, the Jal is the first. And between the second set of signs of the minor signs and the, and the major signs, Imam Mahdi is the bridge. So when he appears, he's going to be the beginning of all the, you know, all the 10 signs that are about to come. And the Dajjal is going to be the worst of all the 10 signs that, that Allah Azza wa Jal would have brought on this earth. Now what happens is there's going to be a lot of things, subhanAllah al a lot of things that are not going to appear the same. So for example, the Prophet has said to us, يُكَذَّبُ الصَّادِقْ وَيُصَدَّقُ الْكَاذِبْ SubhanAllah, he said, near the end of time, the one who's speaking the truth, will be rejected as a liar. And the one who's saying the lie is going to be accepted as the truthful. Three years before the anti Antichrist comes, two thirds of his reign will stop. Two thirds of his produce will stop. Then the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, one year before the Antichrist comes, there'll be no rain, there'll be no produce, There'll be nothing at that time a caller will call out that the say. Antichrist has come. The Antichrist has come out. The Dajjal will shake Iman to its core. Ah, before he comes, three years will happen like this. In the first year, Allah Rabbul Izza will order the sky to hold back a third of its rain. So a third of the water of the rain will be held back. And the second year, two thirds will be held back. And the third year, there will be no rain. So a drought and famine has already gripped mankind. And then this man comes to the judge. Such a fitna that when he comes, angels from the heavens will descend with their swords out. Such a fitna that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, between the creation of Adam Alayhi Salam and the coming of the hour, there's no trial, there's no tribulation, there's no matter more greater than it. Such a fitna that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, every prophet warned his people against him. Adam, Nuh, Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, Saleh, Lut, Yaqub, Musa, Yusha, Ilyas, Yunus, Ayub, Dawood, Yahya, Isa alayhi salam to such an extent that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam warned his people about this. He's no Musaylama, he's no Sajja, he's no Saf, he's no Abu Mansur. He's no Rashid Khalifa, he's no Bashar, he's no Ghulam Ahmed. He is a young man and he is coming. Whether you like it or you don't like it, his army is preparing for his arrival. The arrival of the Dajjal. With him, a river of fire and a river of water. And he enters into a village amidst the people. And he says, do you believe in me? I am your Lord. And when they believe, he tells the sky rain and rain comes. Tells the earth, produce your produce. And it will produce its produce. He will go to a dead person, tell a person, a Bedouin. If I bring your parents back to life, would you believe that I am your Lord? He will say, yes, he says, rise. And two shayateen will come in the image of his parents and will say, son, listen to him, he's your Lord. Do you see Iman is shaken to its core? How do you not believe your eyes? He will tell the earth, spit out your treasures. The hadith says, like, be like bees, gold and silver and diamonds will come out of the ground and follow him. It's difficult times. At this instance, only Iman will see you through. Listen carefully, Muslims. All the faculties and information gathering tools that you have will be deceived. The only thing that you will have left is your hearts. 
And it is important and I insist regularly work on the heart. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Between the creation of Adam Alayhi Salam and the coming of the hour, there is no trial, there is no tribulation, there is no matter more greater than the fitna of the Antichrist. Wallahi, Allah has never ever sent a prophet who did not warn his people against thee. I am the last of all prophets. You are the last of all ummah. The Antichrist is coming. He is definitely coming. Dajjal has one of his eyes obliterated, like as in wiped out. It is covered. On his forehead is written kafir. And the Prophet وسلم, separated it. Every believer can read it, whether he's literate or illiterate. One eye is wiped out as in it's covered. The second eye is damaged. And the, the word of the hadith says it has shrunk. And it uses the same word that describes when, when grapes, you know, shrivel in the sun and become, uh, you know, wrinkly and small. So the, one eye will be covered, the other eye will be like a worn out on old or wrinkly grape. It will be squeezed down. Between his forehead will be written kafir. The Prophet وسلم, described him, his hair will be curved. His legs will be arced. He walks a little different. He's stubby, strongly built. And his start or where he comes out from again will be from the area of Khorasan. And the description of the Prophet being from that region, I am even deducing who it will be with. So the Prophet described the people that will come with him and he uses the word 70,000 of the Jews of Isfahan. And describing the faces, it resembles the area between Afghanistan and, and Iran, some of the inhabitants there, the Prophet says they will have flat faces like the shield and their cheekbones will be raised and their faces will be meaty. And they will be wearing cloaks around them. Travel. He will roam the earth and the hadith says not a village will be missed except he has gone to it. And what kalam and subhanallah listen to the hadith with regards to him. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that إِنَّهُ لَمْ تَكُنْ فِتْنَةٌ عَلَىٰ ظَهْرِ الْأَرْضِ منذ ذرى الله ذرية آدم أعظم من فتنة الدجال وإن الله لم يبعث نبيا إلا حذر أمته الدجال وأنا آخر الأنبياء وأنتم آخر الأمم وهو خارج فيكم لا محالة Listen, there is no calamity on the face of this earth from the time of Adam till قيامة come greater than the calamity of the Dajjal and there wasn't a prophet that came and accepted he came and warned his people about him. The Prophet وسلم, says, all prophets warned their people about him. And I am the last of the prophets. And you are the last of the nations. So he will come from you. There's no way about it. He will come amidst your time. لا محالة. There is no exception. It will come in your time. The ayah will gather you here today to give you a warning. But I have gathered you here today because a man, Tamim Uddari, has come and embraced Islam and he has told me something with that which I have told you regarding the Antichrist. He told me that he has sailed in a ship with 30 men from two sides. He says that the waves have been tossing them around and about for a month. He says that the time of sunset they landed on the island where they met a beast who was so hairy that they could not tell from his front to its back. We said, woe to you. What are you? And it said, the I am al Jassasa. And then he said, go to this monastery, go to that monastery. For there is a man who is very eager to know about you. He says, we quickly went to the monastery and there we see a huge man with his hands tied up to his neck, iron shackles between his ankles, between his legs up to his ankles. We said, woe to you, who are you? And he said, never mind who I am. Soon you will come to know who I am. Tell me who are you? They said that we are people from Arabia. We sailed in a ship where the waves have been tossing us around and about for a month.
when we landed on your island, we met a beast who was so hairy that we could not tell from his front to his back. We said, woe to you, what are you? And he said, that I am Al-Jassasa. Then he said, that go to the monastery for there's a man who is very eager to know about you. He says, we quickly went to you, we quickly went to the monastery and there we found you. Then the man in the iron chain said, tell me about the date palms of Baysan. We said, what do you want to know about? He said, that does he have fruit on it? Does he bear fruit? We said, yes. He goes, the time will come. They will not bear fruit. Tell me about the lake of Tabaria. We said, what do you want to know about? He said, that does he have water in it? We said, yes, he has plenty of water in it. He goes, the time will come. They will dry out. Tell me, tell me about the spring of Zuhara. We said, what do you want to know about? He said, does he have water in it? And do the people use it to irrigate the land? We said, yes. He has plenty of water in it. And the people use it to irrigate the lands. And then the man in the iron chain said, tell me about this unlettered prophet. And we said, that he has left Mecca and he has migrated to Medina. And then he said, do the Arabs fight against him? Do the Arabs fight against him? We said, yes. He goes, how does he deal with them? Then they said, that the messenger has overcome them and those who surround him have followed him. And then the man in the iron chains said, has this really happened? Has this really happened? It is better for them that if they follow him. Now I will tell you who I am. I am the imposter. I am the antichrist. And soon I will emerge. Soon I will be merged. I will be released from this place. And I will travel the world. And I will enter city to city. Except Makkah and Madin. Why? Because there will be angels surrounding this place. Every entrance there will be angels with their swords out. That will prevent him. Prevent me from entering.